So the old adage that uh, when you get a new machine, one of the first things you do is create a tool or an accessory that you'll use for the lifetime of the machine. I guess I sort of followed that when I got the Probotics Asteroid. I, one of the first things I did was create a, a dust shoe, which you can kind of see here attached to the machine. And it was sort of a prototype and I had made it out of MDF and kind of evolved it over three or four iterations. And once I kind of got to that point, uh, you know, it never really became an issue, so I just kept using it. And uh, I guess because there wasn't an issue, uh, I guess that means I liked it. <laughs> so it's about a year later now, and I figure I might as well make the real thing. And one of the things you'll notice here is that uh, making a video about a dust shoe and I forgot to turn on the dust collection while I did it. <laughs> so, anyway, what we're machining here is the top plate. And it, this dust shoe basically is two plates. One that attaches to the router, which we're seeing here. Hole on the left for the dust collection, hole on the right for the router, a little pocket in the middle there for the button that allows you to lock uh, the spindle so you can change the, uh, the bit and we just flipped it end for end and now we're going to to machine the back side of that that plate so this does have magnets that holds the uh, the brush uh, plenum in place but uh, it also has a little ridge that about an eighth inch tall that runs around three sides of the uh, the shoe and that basically keeps it from shearing. So you know, the, the easy way to remove the thing is, uh, with the magnets is to, to, uh, to slide it forward. And that shears the magnet force and it allows it to, uh, to be removed very easily. So left a little onion skin there when we did the cutout and sanding that uh, by hand a little bit. Now we're gonna remove the tabs with a flush cut router bit. And we have to drill a hole basically through both sides horizontally through this piece. And that's for a bolt that will allow us to put the clamping pressure on that clamps both the dust collection uh, fitting and, the, and basically the router as well. So now we're on the second piece. This is going to be the, the, what we would call the, uh, the, the brush holder. And we machine the magnets, uh, pockets, the uh, interior chamber, and uh, then profile cut. Now we're basically going to remove it uh, by cutting the tabs and the onion skin. A little bit of sanding by hand to get rid of all the fuzzies. And then uh, Remove the tabs again with a flush trimming router bit, both interior and exterior in this case, and then some more sanding. And we'll bring both pieces together here. You can kind of see how they fit here. Uh, we don't have the magnets and all the other pieces on, but that's basically how they, they fit. This is a dry fit of the top frame. Put the dust collection port in, we're gonna put the button lever in, and then the clamping bolt and uh, knob in. And we're gonna transfer the, uh, the neodymium magnets from the prototype, which we ran for basically a year, into the actual part. And the, the brush is made from a, a vinyl door sweep. And in the prototype, it was a very thin one. And that uh, had the benefit of being very clear. So it was like you could just look right through it and see what the bit was doing. This one's a little thicker and a little stiffer. And we're gonna actually run it on the interior of this plenum chamber this time or with the prototype we ran it sort of on the exterior so we'll give this a try and see how we like it but uh, so far we like it pretty well 
but we're just going to go around the entire uh, circumference and just cut this uh, sweep into strips. And we're going to dry fit the, uh, the final assembly here. So putting on the main frame, install the dust collection port, clamp it down to the router, and install the dust curtain. So this is what the final product looked like.